Mr. Robs here. We're going to do another example of finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And then we're going to test one of the pairs to show that this equation, which is what we ultimately started with, is true. Now, I'm going to recommend pause the video, try it yourself, all by yourself, following along with the previous example we just did. And that practice will help you solidify where uh, the whole process for you. So to do, I'll go ahead, so pause it. Now that's your unpause, let's continue. So I know the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve the equation a minus lambda i is equal to zero, the determinant of that, which means that one minus lambda one and six two minus lambda is this matrix. I'm going to find the determinant of that equal to zero. And so then I have multiplying 2 minus lambda minus 6, 0. So 2 minus 3 lambda plus lambda squared minus 6 is 0. And I can say that lambda squared minus lambda minus 4 equals 0. And factor it out. And so lambda is equal to 4, or lambda is equal to negative 1. Okay? And so this process, starting with the determinant of this, taking a, subtracting lambda 0, 0, lambda, this matrix will always get me this, finding the determinant of it. And so that calculation is always the same calculation to do. It's just you have to get the process down for this calculation. So now if I start with my first eigenvalue, here's my first eigenvalue, let's start with that, that this is lambda equals 4. I know I'm going to try and work on AX. Sorry, I'm going to try and work on the idea that a minus lambda i times x equals 0. So putting the lambda into this matrix here, I get 1 minus 4 is negative 3, 1, 6, and then 2 minus 4 is going to be 2 minus 4 is a negative 2. I'm going to take this, multiply it by x, y, and that will give me 0, 0. Continuing to solve this, I get negative x, 3x, plus y is 0, and a 6x minus 2y is 0. And it's always good to check here to make sure that these are opposite of each other. Sorry, not opposite, but the same equation, just different multiples of the equation. And if I solve for one of them, I'm going to get x is equal to I'll do minus 3x is equal to y negative, so x is equal to 1 third y. And so now I'm going to find my matrix. I know that if I let y be 3, and I choose 3 so they cancel, then my x value is going to be 1, or positive, and I'm going to put a t because there's lots of different values I can make it, and this is my first eigenvector, and I'm just going to use this one here for later on. So when lambda is 4, I get this is my eigenvector. Similarly, if I'm going to go to the other equation, the other eigenvalue, if I do lambda is negative 1, well, plugging it into this particular matrix here gives me 2, 1, 6, and 3. So then when I make this equation, I get 2x plus y is 0, or a 6x plus 3y is 0. Again, they're just multiples of each other. I can take this equation, and 2x is equal to minus y, x is equal to minus 1 half y. And so again, I can make my 
eigenvector, my t. I'm going to let y be 2. And so that makes x to be negative 1. And so here is the eigenvector that is associated with the eigenvalue of negative 1. And this is the eigenvector associated with the eigenvalue of 4. And then it finally says, test one of the one of the pairs to show that this is true. So if I want to show that A, if I want to show that A x is equal to lambda x, well, I know that A is 1, 1, 6, 2. A is 1, 1, 6, 2. X, let's choose this one for no good reason, other than it was the first one we did. And I want to test to see if this is a true statement that lambda times 4 times 1, 3. And so now when I multiply 1 times 1 plus 1 times 3, that's 4. This is 6 plus 6 is 12. When I go to this side, I get 4 and I get 12. And they are indeed equal. And that is kind of a unique situation where you can take a 2 by 2 matrix, multiply it by a single 2 by 1 matrix, and get the same thing as multiplying by a constant. It's kind of like these things should be equal, but clearly they are not. Um, and that's another example for finding your eigenvalues and eigenvectors.